hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to do a first impression review it's going to be roaring radcliffe by penaligance penaligance is a british uh, perfume brand a very old brand rice it's an amazingly good brand i love their scents overall i haven't smelled this one before it's a sample i got from my good brother my nephew and um, he already used almost all, all of it so he really enjoyed it uh, it seems like it uh, I'm going to be spraying just once uh, it, it has a dark color so you don't be like me and wear a white shirt when spraying something like this because it will most probably stain let's just do one spray now we did two but no problem immediately um, it smells a lot like uh, Tom, Tom Ford's tobacco vanille like uh, a lot like I would say like 85 to 90 percent what you are getting right now uh, what I'm getting right now is Stone Ford's tobacco vanille which is not a bad thing because Tom Ford's tobacco vanille is the first fragrance that got me into niche perfumery I was in love with that fragrance and I smelled it for the first time uh, in, in an airport when going on vacation I was just amazed by uh, by the honey notes that I got and I'm getting the same nice warm spicy honey notes in this one to be honest if i spray tobacco vanille right now on my right palm i'm not going to smell any difference it smells very much alike the only difference i would say is this one is a bit more drier tobacco vanille from tom ford is a bit much more sweeter but the tobacco note that vanilla note that honey note is just amazing it's such a well done honey if you like the smell of honey if you like the taste of honey when you are eating it this is just for you like an amazing gourmand for men and women it can be worn any age i would say unless you are like a little kid do not wear it please but any age it's it's amazing like even if you're like an older man or woman like in your 60s you can still wear this one or if you're in your 20s very versatile amazingly done right now it's it's like 80 90 percent what you are getting from tom Ford's tobacco vanille it's just like one of the one of the two guys copied each other like this one it comes off a little bit more ambery a little bit more um, warmer Tobacco vanille is more of a gourmand. This is also a gourmand, to but tobacco vanille is just a tad bit more of a gourmand. It's a bit more, wa uh, um, not warmer, but it's a bit more sweeter compared to this one. This one has a bit of a drier aspect, uh, a bit more waxy. I'm not getting much like some people get bergamo from it. I'm getting almost zero bergamo. But the tobacco note is also definitely present there it's it's amazingly well done like uh, i'm a bit biased because i love uh, this uh, this style of fragrance that incorporates tobacco with vanilla and the honey it's really what i love so i'm a bit biased you not everybody likes gourmands like this they find them too sweet even if this is not as sweet uh, compared to tobacco vanilles tom ford this is just amazing you are getting this nice cinnamon note that's in the background you don't really notice it unless you put your nose to it then only then you can notice the cinnamon so well done the ginger note is also there but it's more in the base the ginger but it's definitely there you can get the spiciness of a ginger definitely you are getting it now tobacco vanille from tom ford was my first love for niche perfumery smelling this this is just a tad bit more niche compared to the back of any because it has that nice ginger note it has that night nice amber wood the tonka bean in the background the honey the beeswax it's just a little bit more sophisticated compared to tobacco vanille although tobacco vanille has its place also in my heart it has its place it's just an amazing scent 10 out of 10 but this one is just as good like it's just up to preference to be honest like if you're a man or woman you can wear this one just don't wear it in the summer because this is really not uh, the the type of scent you should be wearing in the summer you will be gassing out everybody and everybody will be like who is this guy that's wearing such a thick cloudy strong fragrance in the summertime so really do not wear this in the summer 
Yeah, it's, it's, some people get a rum note, alcoholic note, but I'm not really getting the rum out of it. It's more of the honey. It's dominatingly the honey, the tobacco, and the vanilla. But the ginger note is really present. The cinnamon note is also present. Just amazing scent. Really an amazing scent. Get a sample. Please get a sample and, and do yourself justice. Uh, for sure, this is just an amazing scent done by an amazing perfumer. Daphne Buguet is the perfumer behind this scent, which is, she has some good scents. Amazingly done, guys. I give it, you guys know, I don't, I rarely give like a 10 out of 10. And I'm still not going to give it a 10 out of 10, but this is a 9 out of 10 for sure. Also because it's more my style, my personal style, I like gourmand, especially the honey type of gourmand like this one. But I can see that it's not for everybody because it's not that versatile, you cannot wear it everywhere. For example, at work you do not want to be smelling like, uh, like a bee farm, so it's just not, uh, not that versatile. But uh, in your, uh, when, you're, when you're at a restaurant, when you're outside, at home, doesn't matter. Amazingly good scent. Good longevity for sure. I'm not, I haven't tested the longevity out, but what I've been reading online, people have great longevity, great performance from it. And now from smelling it, it does radiate pretty, pretty good. Like I have even tested out some scents that instantly became a skin scent. This one is really good and it's expected from the notes that it would long, be long lasting amazing look good guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i see you guys in the next one uh, ciao ciao